Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get into your reading and see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September. Now your first card here is the Six of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Strength card, the Chariot card, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Devil card, the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Okay. All right. I am getting very interesting messages here, Aquarius. Okay. So what I'm hearing is for those of you guys that have been feeling or experiencing like you've been on this never ending cycle, never ending loop, um, feeling stuck, feeling restricted, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in finances, whether it's in career. Um, if you feel like you've been doing the same thing for the past two, three years, not much has changed. I see you guys really like vibrating from a fear perspective for some of you guys almost like kind of convincing yourself that people are either making you or wanting to make you be stuck. Um, and the reason I say that with the devil card and the seven of swords, it's almost a feeling of like, well, you know, I haven't really been able to uh, be at a point in my life where by now I should be or I feel like I'm being dragged. I feel like I'm being restricted. I feel like I'm being blocked. And it's almost like it must be that other people are messing with me. It must be like for some of you guys, it could even represent the fear of like people doing witchery on you. Um, and and it's almost like, why am I being so stagnant or why can I move forward? Why can't things stabilize like, I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's like you guys are doing a lot of those deep questions lately. Um, and there's, again, like I said, like a fear or a feeling of it must be something out of my control that I'm not fully being able to embrace or fully be able to be present when things are going good. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. You know what I mean? I'm waiting for something to go bad. And what Spirit is telling you here is you need to change the way you think, Aquarius. With the Six of Cups, this is like a recurring cycle of thoughts. It's a, re a recurring uh, cycle of the way of thinking. With, this, with the Strength card, there is a need for you to fully embrace or fully acknowledge the power that you have to be able to turn around certain situations or to experience new situations, uh, new experiences in your life. With the chariot card, there's a need for you to fully understand that it is you the one that decides where you're going. It is you the one that decides what you want out of life and making it happen. The chariot is all about success, yes, but success doesn't come unless you take full control unless you take full control of the wheel. It's kind of like that metaphor that I tell my clients. You got to think of it as, you know, if you put a boat out in the ocean without anyone steering the wheel, what's going to happen? Inevitably, you're going to crash, right? Because it has no direction. That's the chariot. The chariot is having control, right? Right? And being able to dominate the horses towards the direction you're wanting by your own will. Meaning without forcefully making it happen, but with your will, with your desire, with your way of thinking. So again, what they're showing you here is you have to teach yourself or acknowledge or embrace the fact that you're the only one that is in control of your own life. You cannot blame other people for when things are going wrong. Yes, people can sometimes butt in. Yes, sometimes people do um, manipulate certain situations, right? 
But when we're talking about an overall feeling like people are doing witchcraft on me because that's the reason why I haven't found a relationship. That's the reason why I haven't settled. That's the reason why I haven't really progressed in my career. I haven't taken it to the next level. It's because people are, you know, detaining me or keeping me from being able to progress. Spirit is telling you, no, you're the only one that is setting your own limitations. You're the only one that is deciding it's almost like I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, it's almost like you are throwing destiny up in the air and you're saying whatever is whatever's going to happen, it's because it was meant to happen that way. It's almost like some of you guys even like giving up. You know what I mean? And what they're telling you is, again, the metaphor of that of the boat at sea. If you have no direction or no focus, you cannot complain about the boat crashing or about you being stuck in a situation, not being able to progress, not being able to see changes, not being able to move forward, not being able to stabilize. Because what they're showing me here, Aquarius, is that you have the potential not only to find financial stability, but to find that stability that whatever you would consider, quote unquote, stability or happiness, you have the potential to do that. You have the power. It starts with your way of thinking. Only in that will you be able to fully embrace your potential and what, what you deserve. Because you're the only one at the end of the day, Aquarius, that decides what you deserve. Not the neighbor, not the person that's always telling you, you know, Aquarius, um... I don't think that's what you want. I think this is what you You're the only one that knows what your soul's desire is. You're the only one that sets limitations. You're the only, If you decide this, you know, marriage and commitment is not for me. It, is that what you genuinely feel? Or is that because you've been so consumed throughout the years uh, trying to force yourself to stand out from the crowd and to want a very different... Um, a very different outcome. Is it your rebellious nature or is it something that you genuinely feel like I don't want to get married? And if you don't want to get married, then that's great. That's amazing. But it's like don't blame others or circumstances or situations because you're the one that ultimately decides what it is that you want and what it is that you deserve. When we're talking about career and finances, it's almost like you want success, you you want the financial freedom, but at the same time, there's some type of dogma that's connected to that. Were you taught, you know, in early childhood that uh, people that have, you know, financial stability or that are wealthy um, represents that they're mean people or that they're mean spirited? Whatever the situation is, it's about understanding that you're the one that sets yourself limitations and you're the one that decides what it is that you deserve don't allow other people um don't allow other people to convince you otherwise the ball is in your court all right my lovelies i hope that this gives you some type of insight some type of understanding i wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon bye